Hey everybody, welcome back. So recently a company called Auxito, A-U-X-I-T-O, reached out to me and asked me if I'd like to test their LED lighting products for cars. And I said, absolutely, I love that kind of stuff. So they asked me what kind of vehicles I owned and I told them and they said, we'll send you a couple of um, LED headlights. And that's what we have here. So they sent, to this, they sent this to me free of charge. I'll put a, a um, link down below. Okay, so here is the product over on Oxido's website. Looks like they're having a Father's Day sale now for the next 10 and a half days. You can get 20% off. I will also put my affiliate link below, which gets you 10% off, and they say they will provide me a code which gives 15% off. I doubt you're going to get all of those combined at once, but you know what to do. Use the one that gets you the most, right? So, um... What do they say about this? It's 9,005 HB3 LED bulbs. These are the ones that obviously fit the Cadillac I'm going to put them in. 120 watt, 24,000 lumens per set. 700% brighter, I'm assuming, than the stock halogen bulb. And 6,500 K cool white color temperature. And oh, they got some more info down here. Let's take a look. Why upgrade halogen to oxido headlight bulbs, LED bulbs, 400% brighter, lower power consumption, one-to-one -one size, 50 times longer lasting, CAN bus air free, 360 degree illumination, 50,000 hour longer lasting, highly efficient and reliable cooling system. And yeah, I did note that they're, they're, a, they're a finned aluminum base and they have a little fan in them and there's a driver box as well. Uh, perfect beam pattern, super focused, no dark area, no glare. Upgraded intelligent driver, shouldn't cause error codes, you know, on computer controlled cars. We're certainly going to find that one out. Um, wider visibility and brighter light narrow uh, versus halogen, which is narrow visibility and dim light. And one-to-one -one same beam pattern. And one more here. Almost one-to-one, -one same size like halogen. Non-polarity, plug-and-play, extremely small size. Perfect fit for 99-plus percent vehicles without problems in installation. Well, we're going to find that out, so let's find that out. And um, let's take a look at it. Now, I have had the box open, but um, this is everything that came in it. There's a little pair of white gloves, which um, may or may not fit my Gorilla hands. We'll find out. I'm assuming they provide those because they don't want you touching the bulb with your bare fingers. There's some small black wire ties, zip ties. Looks like there's four of them. And then there are four um, yellow silicone rubber O-rings. There's a little set of instructions. And then there's the bulbs themselves. These bulbs, unlike the factory bulbs, and these bulbs are for... A 2003 Cadillac DeVille that my wife bought brand new and there the that's the car the headlight lenses I polished on in my last video the stock bulbs are still in it that came brand new in the car believe it or not and um, they have a 90 degree outlet that way and a plug that goes in so these are kind of different in the fact that they've got some kind of little magic electronic box going in between and then the plug is out on the end instead of the plug being directly on it. Anyway, that car, you have to pull the entire headlight assembly in order to change the bulb. And I have to admit, I didn't know that when I said go ahead and send me bulbs for that car. Or I probably would not have. But anyway, now that I have them, I'm going to go ahead and do it. It looks pretty easy to do. I'm not going to bore you while, I'll, while I do it. But I will show you once I have the assembly off I will show you putting the bulbs in oh you know what we ought to do first we ought to go drive the thing at night with the old bulbs first so we can see how the old bulbs perform so I'm gonna wait till dark I'm gonna do that and then um then tomorrow morning I'll come back and we will put the bulbs in okay so now that I have the stock lens is all cleaned up and polished let's go for a test drive it's about 8 30 out tonight in fact, it's right on the nose of 830. These are the stock factory lights. They're the original ones the car came with. Now these new lights are going to go in the high beam position. And the high beams on this car, this car has two bulbs per side. So low and high are separate bulbs. The low beam is the top bulb and the high beam is the lower bulb. 
so at close range like that it's on low now so highs actually look like the lower of the two bulbs I, I know it's weird but you can see down here on the dash you can see the little blue icon down on the dash when I turn the high beams on so we're on low beam now so let's go for a drive okay here come the high beams right there they're way out there aren't they this car's got good lights See if I can find a dark stretch of street. Okay, here we go. High beams. And they light a long way out there, but it looks, you know, dim up front because nothing's shining down low. Low beam, high beam, and turn signal by accident, of course. Low beam, turn signal, low beam. High beam. Really can't see much. It lights it so far out up ahead. Let's try this right here. Low beam, high beam. Yeah, really can't get much of a feel for it here because those highs shine so far out in the distance. And there's low beam and high beam. Low and high. Okay, so now that we had our little drive at night, let's put the um the bulbs in now I've already got this side out this is a Cadillac whose headlights I polished up that were so badly yellowed especially this one I just want to show you how to get them out real quick 2003 DeVille it has a big plastic cover over here there are six of those little plastic clips that have the center dot that you push down and the clip comes out that whole plastic thing comes off once you take those six clips out and then you see I have that one out there are three bolts, one, two, and then one straight down in there. They're very easy to get to. And once that's done, the only thing holding it in is this round, this round knob in that plastic clip. They say grab and yank. I didn't work, didn't work for me. I got a pry bar and then went in like that and it didn't really take much like that to pop that out. And now the bulbs, are under here and those are the headlights and we're we're going to be doing high beams so we're going to be doing the lower of the two bulbs that being said let's get that one out at first i wasn't sure where that you know that little electronics box was going to go but apparently there is enough room in there you can see it in there there is enough room for it to tuck in there and still get the cover back on i also just noticed these, these have little fans on the back of them. I just now noticed that. I didn't notice it before. I am not exactly sure what good that's going to do with this cover over it. Because I'm not sure exactly how much room it's going to have. I mean, that's going to be almost down on top of it. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what good the fan's going to do unless you're not supposed to put the covers back on. Um, I'm going to put the covers back on. I don't know if you can see it, but there is. See if I can get the light, get you and the camera and the light in there at the same time. There is a little bit of room in there between the top of that fan and that cover when it goes down. It's probably not going to be more than about an eighth of an inch, but um, there is room. That one's in. Let me put the other one in. Okay, there's that one in on that side. All I got to do is make sure my gaskets and everything are in place and um, get the door in and clip down. Now we're going to put it all back together. I'm going to put some grease on these balls, pop those back in. Get the bolts back in and we'll put it together you know what let's turn it on and test them make sure they light up first that'd be a good idea wouldn't it okay there we go those are the high beams and um they do work let's switch to the lows and see the difference in color and there's the original lows that is quite a huge color difference isn't it anyway i'm going to shut it off and i'm going to get it buttoned all back together again okay it's all back together that was remarkably easy 
I take back, um, actually, I take back none of the bad things I've said about GM and Cadillac. I still think it's all true. Anyway, <laughs> that's, that's a rant for another video. Can you see them down in there? I can definitely see the new blade of the LED bulb compared to the old halogen style glass bulb. And um, when it gets dark around here, we'll go for a test drive. Okay, here we are, evening two, pretty much exactly the same time, 8.30, and um, let's go for a drive. These are the old low beams. Remember, I only replaced the um, bulbs for the high beams. And I'll show you the high beam bulbs against the garage door as soon as I'm sure nobody's coming that I'll hit. Here are the high beams now, the new ones. Yeah. <laughs> when I first turned them on, the wife came out to look with me. And when I turned them on, she went, whoa! <laughs> they are really bright. I think we're definitely going to see a difference here. Low beams, high beams. Holy crap. <laughs> those are um those are seriously bright low beams high beams before you could hardly even tell when the high beams were turned on but um wow those are bright sheesh okay they're very bright they are very bright and they're also very white i think these are the color temperature of these is six thousand which is bright, which is almost blue. They're so white. Yeah. Wow, those are bright. Okay, here's a little longer distance off. Let's try them here. Oh, those are crazy. I mean, those are crazy bright. That's just... Now I know why they say don't put these in in low beams probably illegal come down and we'll take a look at them against that wall down there too I don't know if you can see it but down there about another hundred yards out there's a, a dead end and a wall you can kind of see it where that yellow sign is well now you can really see it jeez I don't know if you're seeing this like I'm seeing it but it turns that regular yellow light and it just makes everything bright white that's just crazy look at that the other high beams look nothing like that all right these are impressive Okay, once again, these are the original low beams, and that is the new high beams. That is really wild. I mean, I knew they were going to be bright. I wasn't, because I've had LED bulbs before. I just wasn't quite prepared for that big of a difference. Well, there you go. That is the Auxedo Super Bright 6500K, 24,000 lumen per pair LED headlights for this Cadillac. And they are super bright. I will put a link to the product below. It will be an affiliate link, but it'll also get you a discount, I think 10% off. Anyway, thanks for watching. I like these bulbs a lot, and I look forward to seeing more of Oxido's products in the future. Thanks for watching.